Gates will open. Hi guys, it's James for UTG TV, and we are in Chicago, a new uh, venue for us to do this show from. Uh, and we are with some guys who are also not from the area. We're from Michigan. Who wants to uh, let us know where you guys are from and who you are? Um, we're from a place called St. Torbians in um, <laughs> Hertfordshire. And we are called Enter Shikari. Well, there's so much Enter Shikari. It's a good answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got it right. Congratulations. Here we go. I'm so, not winning. <laughs> <laughs> so we are on the Torsic 2010 tour. Uh, first of two nights here in Chicago. Sold out completely. Saw the parents of people away at the door. What's the latest? This is the second time I've seen you guys out at the data room. It seems like every time it just seems to get bigger and bigger. So what's it like for you guys every time you come to the States? It seems like every time Shikari comes around, the buzz around you guys is growing and growing. So what's it like from your perspective every time you come over here? Um, well, I mean, we've been over, like, and done sort of like a week or two week tours so many times. So it feels like, you know, things are starting to pick up now. It's pretty cool. About <laughs> well, fucking time. To us, it seems fast. To you, it's like, geez, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, it's, it's absolutely wicked, like, it, like, seeing the same sort of faces, the new faces, it's really encouraging. How would you compare the American audience to the overseas audience? Uh, pretty much the same, to be fair. I mean, obviously in the UK, things are a lot more fast-forwarded, we've got a much sort of bigger audience there, but apart from that, like, the, the enthusiasm, the general way that people act is, is very similar. Yeah. Now, you guys had a live album come out recently? Kind of recently, somewhere recently. Well, we talked about our site recently, I should say. We got it recently. Cool. We'll see. We'll start there. All right. You know, so we want to talk a little bit about uh, the live record that came out. Yeah, Rock City, which came out with, with Tribalism. Oh, yeah. like, it's weird because it like it did. That's what I was. Yeah, the one that came out with Tribalism. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. So like, it didn't really sort of come out out here. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, Tribalism, yeah, it was like B sides, remixes, and then the live live album. Now I um. I'll admit that I'm uh, still a bit of a stranger to Shikari. I'm still kind of getting, uh, still have been getting into you guys. I saw you back in September, but when we had someone on the site talk about tribalism, uh, I asked them what they thought of it because they had been like a longer time fan. They were like, "The one thing about this band that keeps happening is that I never seem to know where they're going to go next." He was like, "If tribalism is proof of one thing, it's that it just, it just seems like they just have a whole bunch of ideas, and it just ends up being B-sides because there's so many tracks on that record." He's like, "It's," I, I, he's like, "I don't know how they." Focus it down because it just goes all over the place. So what is what is the creation process like for Shikari? Um, I mean, the only like boundaries or kind of anything we set ourselves is it's got to be melodic, energetic, aggressive. Um, that's about it, really. Anything else? Um, it's got to be good. Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, apart from that, we just kind of just make whatever we, whatever we're vibing, whatever we're feeling at the time. Really. We go through different phases, as everyone does, you know, with like, you know, certain bands or types of music they like, and we just incorporate that into our sound. Now, when you say the sound of Shikari, a lot of our readers are, like a lot of people still kind of getting on the boat, getting on that bandwagon that's starting in the United States now, so... How would you, how do you guys describe the sound of the Shikari people? I mean, we, we tend just, just to try and avoid describing <laughs> it by, by any means. Like, um, we just encourage people to listen to it, come to a show, or whatever. Like, as I already said, we don't really define ourselves. We just try and make music that we enjoy listening to, that we feel is, is passionate. That's it, really. When it comes to the live show, it was, uh, it's, it's pretty hectic. It seems like there's a lot going on at once the entire time. Uh, have you guys, are, are there some injury stories? Or are there some bad stories from on stage? Someone give me some tales. Because it looks like you guys get pretty close yeah. to where there's a lot of like last second grabs to make sure someone doesn't run into a guitar head. Or yeah, well, well, well it's funny to say that because <laughs> when we played, one. yeah, like, very recently we played um, Australia. Like, it was like a touring festival. I think it was like the first night or something, and I was swinging my guitar around my head. And Brown didn't see it, but he just walked straight into it. And he just, it was basically just like getting 
fucking baseball bat and just whacking it around. The <laughs> when he says swinging the guitar around, he's saying he held the neck like that and swung the body around like that. Yeah. So I got the full force of the body. Yeah, yeah, and then blood just went everywhere. He just said, <laughs> How far into the set was this? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You just keep going? You just keep, do you champ this out? Yeah, kind of. Held it up yeah. through and then just went straight to the hospital. <laughs> he, he, he used my t-shirt to wipe the blood off his face. It was nice. <laughs> it was a, like my t-shirt. That was my way of getting back. It was, it, was a, it was a white t-shirt. It's quite nice as well. It's had a big fucking blood stain on it. What does... Torsic is about to the halfway mark right now. We are switching opening bands tonight. Vera is gone and Go Radio starts tomorrow. Uh, what do you guys... like? What do you guys look to accomplish in God on tour, like especially in the United States, but just in general? Like, what is the goal every night when you guys go out on stage? Just to survive, really. <laughs> I mean, for us, this is probably the longest like straight up tour we've ever done. Like having a day off every like eleven days is pretty much unheard of. Like back in the UK and Europe, so just you know going out there, giving it the best we've got every night, hoping that people like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's the hardest thing. Like. Sort of not getting burnt out, sort of trying to pace yourself, kind of to give a solid performance every night. It's like it's so easy just to like, you know, after a show, you just like start necking the beers, and then just like next day wake up and just, you know, give the next hour and a half hour show. It's like, not really fair. There is a lot of energy in your life, like I already mentioned. What is the what is the pre-stage rituals for Shikari? What do you guys do right before? Like just a cocktail of just whatever <laughs> drugs and <laughs> everything you know. I'm joking. Whatever we can get our systems. Uh, um, I, I, we, we don't really have like free stage ritual. We just kind of <laughs> go out. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just kind of move about and then sort of <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Well, once tour six is over, what is what's next for Interesting Talk? What does 2010 hold? Uh, in this part of the world, we're coming back for half of Warp Tour, and then we're hopefully doing a headliner in October, which is going to cover the whole the whole shebang. So it should be good. Well, uh, have you guys done Warp Tour before? Exciting. Excited. Nervous. Hot. Yeah, yeah, really hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard there's a laundry van that follows the Warp Tour around, uh, washing uh, everyone's uh, dirty. Really? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it, it does sound like the worst, I can't imagine a worse job, like, <laughs> it's working for a laundry company on Warp Tour. That is the love. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, non-state side, what's up next question? Um, as soon as we've done this, we're going to Russia uh, for the first time, which will be really interesting. Um, and then, just festivals around Europe. Uh, we're doing a single